It was such an honor to get a get an actual chance to go to collegiate national this year, and I know we've all been prep in preparation of like hard work and everything, day in day out. I I try not to miss a practice and everything like that. Not only was it our first event since COVID, we haven't been able to compete for two years, but it was also nationals. Our coach said, oh, y'all would have wiped the floor, so it was good to actually see that in action. It was only a few weeks notice, so that was kind of one of those that gives you, gives you a little extra heart palpitation there because even though we've trained the whole time, of course, to be ready, there, as a coach, there's still kind of a timing schedule as far as your athlete development, as far as wanting them to peak. Uh, Condition-wise, uh, for, for a national event, for any of it really, but particularly for nationals, knowing black belts are going to be doing uh, three two-minute rounds of sparring, that's a long time to be sparring. So cardiovascular-wise, you really want to be in optimal position. A few weeks' notice is <laughs> cutting it kind of close. Definitely, training without competitions is hard. Um, it's hard to get that motivation when you're not seeing results. So definitely the team was struggling a little bit with motivation halfway through the year, but those who stuck with it, kept training hard, um, were definitely rewarded this season with Nationals. Our team did very well, um, especially there was a lot of people who, because we haven't been, had the chance to compete in the last couple years, it was their first time competing for pretty much everybody on the team. Leo, uh, Leonardo Chang, uh, men's middleweight black belt division. Uh, took a national championship. Uh, we were so impressed with what Leo did out there. Uh, he was just so committed to the team. Uh, and then uh, Jenna Green was our women's black belt lightweight uh, grand champion, uh, national champion. She basically just, just blew away everybody they put in the ring with her. But everybody we sent out there did so well. So yeah, taking six medal, taking nine athletes, leaving with six medalists, uh, including two national champions was, it, it's more fun to win. So that, that was a lot of fun. I know we still have some like newcomers, some like people who are not as experienced as others, like as the black belts, but I feel like they, they found their own success and they, and they learn from their mistakes and learn from just the experience of actually fighting other people instead of our teammates every day. I know we had, we had a decent amount of medals, including me and Jenna as well. We've competed, we know we can win. Um, definitely excited for next year. I think we're gonna do really well. Um, I know for me at least, I didn't win, but I fought really hard and I learned a lot. Um, and I am really looking forward to competing next year and bringing it, bringing the heat. Collegiate competition is a completely different animal. It's, it's just very different in and of itself. Not necessarily the rules per se, but uh, just the events. Uh, we do have some rule changes coming up from USA Taekwondo, so we know we're gonna have to start making some adjustments there. Um, the two athletes that did win the national championships, they also uh, both qualify then for the FISA games in Mexico. That'll be in, uh, I believe it's in September. So they'll also be able to come back to the team after that event and be able to share their knowledge of working with some USA uh, Taekwondo team coaches uh, because they'll have that opportunity uh, prior to that event. So we're looking to take all of that Put it together with the team and I think they're going to have a really amazing year next year.